Good morning. It's a chilly one out there. We're looking at 6.9 degrees inside. It was uh, 33 this morning, so kept it pretty pretty good, comfortable. Uh, got a decent night's sleep. Super quiet out here on the ice, which was nice. Drove a pretty good breakfast into me, and going to start the snowmobile, get that warmed up a little bit, and uh, head over and meet my buddy and do some pan fishing today. I think we're going to take a little ride to a new body of water um, and see what we can catch. Coffee is really good this morning. Made a nice dark batch on the percolator. So I'm going to enjoy that once it, once it cools down a little bit more for me. But filled up a thermos and I'll have that on the on the ice. I get fish under me unless there's mud. Coming up. What was that all about? Right. Perch. Tiny. You don't even have to pull it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that other one lined up though. Did it? That's your jig. He's right there. Oh, that's too fast to be a crappy. Although that big one I caught came out like that. Might be a yellow. Thanks, man. Yeah. A little crappy. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Coming hot. Doesn't feel huge yet. Either. Yeah, either size. Huh. That's about what I thought he was. Same. A little smaller. Ended up not filming a lot from here on out. The cameras just kept freezing up. I got to start putting some heat to them. But these are the fish I entered in the Fish Donkey Nationwide right, Tournament. Here he goes. Small Ended up bad. catching Small quite bad. a few different species. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. There he goes. He was Alright, 11 and a half are going back. Alright, I'm back. We are looking at a pretty cool 15 degrees out there. And inside is 39. I put the heater on. I went to dinner with CJ and Anna and Dan. So, not cooking tonight. 
much, but I put the heat on before I before I left, so it would be a little bit warmer here when I got back. I knew I'd get back a little bit late. Gonna get the coffee ready for the morning. Gonna get the coffee ready for the morning and a few other things. And uh, and probably call it a night. Super tired, the fishing was really tough. Really difficult fishing today. They did not want to bite. Before I left this morning, I put the water jugs up in my sleep bag. Ah, nice, they didn't freeze. That's awesome because it was super cold. So I didn't know if that was going to work or not. So that's great. They did not freeze. Give those a chance to dry out tonight. Everything's looking good. Pretty well all set up, ready for the morning. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Didn't really film a lot of the fishing today. I'll try to film a little bit more of that for you in the future. Uh, it was a really, really tough day, tough bite. Didn't catch a lot, uh, but caught several species, which was pretty cool, so. I'll try to do some filming tomorrow for you and and uh, on the on the lake. Otherwise, we're uh, we're camping. Good morning. Good morning. All right, that was a uh, second night sleep. It's a little bit before 5 a.m. It's one below zero out there. In here, we're toasty, 39 degrees. Uh, had the heater running on. A little bit over medium most of the night right there as you can see with the fan on i mean i've still got snow you know like a couple feet from it on the floor but it kept the olive oil mostly melted and kept my water from freezing and it kept me from freezing so there you have it Whew. oh boy got a big day today guys I'm uh, going to cook up some breakfast. I think I'm fishing alone today. I'm in a fish donkey tournament. I'm actually in a couple of them, but uh, there's one that ends today. I didn't realize it ended today, but it's three crappie. I've already weighed in two pretty good size crappie. I got one 16 and a quarter and one 15 incher. So that puts me at 31 and a quarter. You're, you gotta weigh in three. The leader right now is at 43 and a quarter. So all I need is a 12 incher to tie. Anything over 12 inches takes the lead and today's the last day. So the pressure's on. I've thrown back a couple in that 12 inch range without even weighing them in just cause they're not that big. But I gotta catch one and I gotta get a pretty decent one to win this tournament on the very last day. So, wish me luck on that. Um, I'll bring you along. Stay tuned on that. But first things first, is going to cook some breakfast over here. Going to get the coffee started first. That takes a little while to perk because it's probably frozen uh, water in the coffee pot now. I like getting that coffee pot ready the night before. Just makes it so much easier than you don't have to deal with frozen water. And that's all you can do is click it on.
I left my olive oil near the the stove, but it's still kind of congealed, half, half and half. But that'll be enough to cook with. That'll be good coffee on the ice. 
we're uh, we're hovering right at two below zero right now, and it usually drops when the sun comes up. But now it's time to eat. Now it's time to eat. Oh, nice, nice. Dishes are done. All right, we're starting to drop. It's negative two and a half right now. It's this weird phenomenon that happens every day in the winter in Maine is right before the sun comes up in the first, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour of the sun coming up, the temperature just plummets even harder. So it's five. 25 right now got another easy half hour or so before the sun comes up maybe an hour so it'll probably drop to i'm thinking five six below good time to be sitting here drinking a hot cup of coffee Good little trick if you guys are at a diner or even at home and your coffee's a little too hot to drink and you don't have ice cubes around or anything like that is just put a utensil, a metal utensil in it and that'll pull a lot of the heat out of it and if you stir it of course that'll pull some heat out of it too. But just dropping a metal utensil or two or three in there is enough to waft a lot of that heat out of it and make it drinkable. All right, we are looking at three below zero now, three and a half below zero. It's dropping. I'm gonna go out and get that machine started so it has time to warm up. Let's see how she does. First thing is pull the kill switch. And if you just tap that on, I guess it preheats it from what I was told. I don't know. Let it run a cycle and then hold it in. I love it when that thing fires up when it's cold. I love it when it fires up every day. All right, back for the night. It's coming in at a brisk 10 degrees outside, which means it is 10 degrees inside right now because I had the stove off. But I got it cranking right now. The fans just kicked on, as you could see. I'm gonna see how quick it, it warms up in here. Last night was supposed to be six above. It ended up being four to six below this morning. It was four below when I left, and then it usually drops a couple more. Uh, they're calling for negative one tonight, so it could get as low as like 12, 13 below zero tonight. So I might keep the heater on like medium or something like that just to keep it, keep stuff from freezing too much in here. As you can see, like olive oil freezes pretty quick, but that's not the best judge. But the water jugs and everything, I'm, I gotta check my water jugs. That's one of the most important things. I put them to bed when I left this morning underneath all this clothing. So under the clothing and in the bed. So let's check on that. Let's see. Oh, nice. It did not freeze. 
and they did not wet that bed either which is really nice because if anybody's wetting that bed it's gonna be me cool so i found a way to keep that from freezing and then tonight i just keep them semi close to this stove and hopefully the stove keeps them from getting too too cold but so give you a recap on the day because i didn't do a lot of filming out there fishing but it was an absolute grind this cold front has got the fish shut off so i'm not doing a ton of filming just because there's so much searching and chasing after them and running after them and not catching them to be honest with you i caught two crappy today one was like five inches the other luckily for me i needed a 12 incher to tie or take the lead from scott over at 330 maniac he's got a great channel if you guys haven't seen it he was in the lead and uh my good buddy sean was in second so those guys are both just sticks wicked weapons on the water and i needed a 12 incher just to just to uh tie or take the lead i think and i ended up getting one 12.75 yeah so 12 would have, would have tied because i'm in the lead right now um by 0.75 inches so that's three fish uh we're i think i'm coming in at like 44 inches which is kind of lame for maine but the bite has just been horrible um yeah it's just been really tough so i'm very thankful for that fish i'll show you guys some pictures of it that i sent in to fish donkey and i talked to scott tonight and he's actually heading fishing for walleye and crappy tonight all night and the tournament ends at midnight so fingers crossed mine holds up good luck scott he said he's not on a big crappy lake but you never know it's fishing man you could pop one at any time he just needs three quarters more of an inch to tie and uh an inch gives him the lead and i think he's got a 14 so if he catches a 15 incher he should take the win and i don't know if, if sean's fishing tonight either so wish me luck on that guys uh wish me luck on getting through tonight it's gonna be a pretty brutal cold one and then tomorrow we're gonna we, we got another day of the cold front we're gonna go crappy fishing tomorrow and then after that i think the bite should heat up but i'm gonna try to get some filming for you guys uh on the water you know i haven't been doing a lot of that just really tough conditions too to film when it's that cold and when especially when they're not biting and you know i just i just worked my absolute tail off today to try to just get that bite i ended up catching a uh, really good bass i entered that in in on fish donkey as well and i caught two perch that were like 12 and a half inches i entered those and i entered a, a um pumpkin seed as well like an eight and a half so it wasn't the worst day ever it was just a really tough day and expectations were high and and i was you know when you're focused for the entire day every single second of the day you know you forget to eat you forget to drink and um and you just try to make it happen so it didn't happen to me till like almost 2 p.m so it was a long long spell but you gotta always stay positive you never give up you guys know the deal we'll see how it goes and then tomorrow starts a new weekly tournament on nicole stone's channel through fish donkey for your top three crappy by length um, verified mouth closed all that good stuff so we're gonna start a new one tomorrow see how we do see how we do tonight um and then see how we do tomorrow thanks for tuning in guys i had dinner at cj and anna's we had her famous um venison egg rolls again and corn chowder it was absolutely amazing belly full worn out super tired mentally and physically uh i'm gonna get my coffee ready for tomorrow maybe a couple other things ready for tomorrow morning and then i'm gonna be at it at about 4 30 again give it a go thanks for tuning in guys really appreciate all the support for the channel